This video is entitled An Introduction to STEM Programming with Python 3, Other Bases Hexadecimal. I'm James M. Renault, PhD from Shawnee State University, and I'll be talking about hexadecimal numbers and how they work in Python. It's expected that you understand binary numbers and probably did the prior video in this uh, series of presentations before you cover this. But what we're going to talk about in this presentation is what is a hexadecimal number? How to represent the 16 different digits of a hexadecimal number? How to convert binary numbers to hexadecimal? How to convert hexadecimal numbers back to binary numbers? Common ways to write hexadecimal numbers and hexadecimal numbers and their use in Python programs. We're not going to go directly from hexadecimal to decimal and decimal back to hexadecimal um, in this presentation because most people don't do that. They use a programming calculator or use a program to do that for them. In a prior presentation, we introduced binary numbers. Imagine writing a 32-digit long binary number, 101111111. Eventually, all the ones and the zeros would just get so confusing, and the chance of transposing a digit or making a mistake is huge. So writing big binary numbers doesn't make a whole lot of sense. What we kind of figured out was, well, we could group each four digits of binary and that gives us 16 different possibilities. And instead of rep writing a number in binary, we will often write a number in something called hexadecimal, where each digit represents the values 0 to 15. It's a lot more compact, or it is more compact than writing, a lot more compact than writing binary, and it is more compact than writing decimal numbers. Now, because we only have 10 digits, 0 through 9, in the uh, alphabet that we all post uh, typically use, we use the letter A to represent 10, we use the letter B to represent 11, and letter you see C, D, E, and F to represent 15. Imagine again if you were born with 16 fingers instead of 10. Each position in the positional notation is a value between 0 and 15. Here you can see hexadecimal numbers, again using the positional notation that we used in decimal and binary, only now we're using powers of 16. And so the hexadecimal number 10a and you get the little 16 down there to tell you it is a hexadecimal number, is 1 times 16 squared plus 0 times 16 to the first plus 10 times 16 to the zeroth power. Uh, because A represents 10, B represents 11. And so the answer is 266 decimal. Uh, the binary number AB1B could be written as a, which is 10 times 16 to the third, plus 11, because B is 11 times 16 squared, plus 1 times 16 to the first, plus 11, because B is 11, times 16 to the zeroth power. So that would be, if you add them all together, 43,803. Uh, 43, so that's a really big a decimal number written only as four digits in binary, or in, in hexadecimal. This slide shows the first several powers of 16. 16 to the zeroth power is 1. 16 to the first power would be 16. 16 squared is 256, 4098, 65536, and going on up couple of numbers that you probably want to just kind of keep in your mind is 16 squared, 256, is the same as 2 to the 8th power, 256, and 16 to the 4th, 65536, is the same as 2 to the 16th power. To convert a binary number to hexadecimal is really easy. What you do is you add zeros on the left-hand side until you get enough digits 
so that you have an even number divisible by four. So you just pad out zeros until you have a, have a, a multiple of four for a 12, 16 digits. Then you start on the left-hand side, or start on the right-hand side, or the left-hand side, really doesn't matter, and convert each group of digits to its hexadecimal character. So if the four, four bits you're looking at are 0, 0, 0, 0, you write down a 0 for hex. If it's 1100, oh, oh, which is, um, what, 8 plus 4 or 12, you write down a C. If it's 1111, that's 15, you write down an F. So you take each group of four bits, boom, 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 down the down the, the, the binary number, and it really doesn't matter which direction you go from, as long as you've done that first step and patted them out to uh, evenly divisible by four. If you haven't, start at, the, start at the right and work your way left. Here I convert two Des, uh, binary numbers to hexadecimal. The first, 101011, I break it into groups of four and I've padded the last group out, so I now get 0010 zero, and 1011. Well, 0010 zero, is two, so write a two, and 1011 is 11, right? Eight plus two plus one would be 11, and that's a B. So the binary number 101. 011 is 2B hexadecimal. Boy, that's a lot easier to write and to say, isn't it? Now, let's look at this big binary number I have here, this uh, 16, this, this big one here. That's miserable. Imagine saying that to a friend on the phone. Now, 111111, I'm already confused. So we write it now, breaking it into groups of four, um, and we get 1111. 1111000011 and we convert each of those four groups each of those groups of four those four groups of four to their individual digits so 1111 is f 1111 is f 0000 is 0 and 1111111 is f and so we get ff0f as that binary number Boy, hexadecimal is great for storing these big or for writing and communicating these big binary numbers. Converting hexadecimal back to binary is just as easy. You take each of the hexadecimal digits, convert it to its four bits of binary, and just write them down. Right to left or left to right really doesn't matter. Just be consistent. For example, you can see here I convert FEA9 to binary, and you can also see that I convert the hexadecimal ABBACAB to binary by taking each of the digits of hexadecimal, converting it to its four binary digits, and then just writing it down. You probably should commit to memory binary the first binary first 16 binary numbers just because you'll be using them for your entire career in information systems. Like with binary numbers, Python will let you put integers and integer constants in as hexadecimal. You put the 0x prefix in front of it, so 0xff is the same as a decimal 255. The in Python, creating numeric constants using the 0x prefix is case insensitive. So whether you write it with uppercase or lowercase letters, it really doesn't matter. And you can use the hex function to convert an integer into a string, and the string will have a 0x prefix in front of it. Here's a simple Python program that assigns the var variable a to the value 0xf12. And when we print a, we can see that it contains the decimal number 3858. We can also convert a decimal number. For instance, the variable x here is equal to 98,989. And print it out as a hexadecimal number by converting it to a string using the hex function and then printing the result, you see that on line 7, of 0x182ad. This concludes this presentation. 
Remember that this presentation was copyright 2019 by James M. Renault, Ph.D. All rights are reserved. You can contact me at jreno at shawnee.edu if you have any questions or corrections or, or comments. The work is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share alike, 4.0, international license, and you can use it in your classes or where you need to under those provisions. Remember, I'd like to uh, uh, keep programming, and I'd also like to say thank you for watching.